Hey guys, my name is Dr. Shornell Wolverton Sihon. I am coming to you today to talk about loyalty contracts. I'm wondering if you have ever heard of loyalty contracts. It's something that comes up quite often in my practice and recently was um, it was suggested to me to get this book by a friend of mine, Marianne, um, a book called It Didn't Start With You. And it goes into a lot about loyalty contracts. Um, I have experienced this myself. I've also seen a lot of examples of that when I'm working with my patients. I know Dr. Lucky and also Bob Stevens, Robert Tennyson Stevens are big time uh, all about conscious language and being able to use words or hear words, listen to words and be able to kind of map back to what a trauma is in someone's life based on some of the things that they express that, that the patient will express um and i'll give you some examples um for one um in in this book they're talking about a guy who was 19 years old and all of a sudden started having weird symptoms of waking up in the middle of the night about three o'clock in the morning freezing uh needing five or six extra blankets, teeth chattering, um, afraid to go to sleep, um, and, you know, unable to go to sleep and feeling like if he went to sleep, then he would die. Cancel all of that. But, um, so when he went and looked further into it, some of the questions that were asked were like, what, when did this start? Um, of course he said, it started around 19. Um, they were paying attention really carefully to what he was saying. And he kept talking about freezing and being afraid to die. Turns out he um, had an uncle who, when, when asked around, they, they asked him, do you have anyone in your family that wakes up in the morning at three o'clock in the morning or is afraid to die? Or, you know, just those kind of questions. Turns out his uncle who he, he had not met had passed away in 19 when he went camping and got stuck in the mountains and actually froze to death. So this is an example of a loyalty contract where the nephew had picked up on an energetic print from another family member and was actually trying to live it out or continue um, in the program, whatever that program was energetically. Um, I know that I, when I test people, especially in person, I'll make sure, are you the person that I'm testing? Because especially people who are in ministry or people in, um, like nursing or teaching or counseling or massage or anything hands on with people, it's very, very easy to actually pick up programs, even from people who are not family members.